Today, Joe and I are going to show you what could be possibly wrong in your basement bathroom if you're in the shower and your toilet starts bubbling, or if you just try to flush your toilet and it won't go anywhere. Now what we're going to do is locate the sewage ejector pump, which is located in your sewage ejector can. Ours happens to be right beside the bathroom. So you're looking basically for a trash can lid in a closet. Once you found your can lid, you're gonna look for the wire or wires coming out of the top of the can, and you're gonna follow it to the electrical outlet. And you're gonna make sure that it has power. You can use a fancy tester, which this one does have power, but if you don't have this fancy tester, use your hair dryer. In this can is a pump similar to this one. The pumps have a float on them, which is activated when the water rises. When this float rises, it'll activate the pump and it will pump the water and sewage out the drain pipe. But what happens is, especially if you use like a very thick toilet paper, um, which we'll leave a link above to let you know which toilet papers you should use. But in the meantime, the toilet paper will accumulate on this pump and it'll get higher and higher and higher and it will weight the float down and the pump will not activate. What we're gonna to try to do now is get that toilet paper off the float. So find where your plug, your wire goes into this grommet here and we're just gonna take a screwdriver and pull that grommet out, just like so, before we can get either a probe or a broom handle in here. Okay, I want to show you outside the can what you're wanting to accomplish inside the can through that little hole in the grommet. You wanna take a broom handle or a probe, whatever you have, and you also want to take a flashlight and actually look inside the can. But what you're trying to do is knock this toilet paper off the float so it'll allow it to activate the pump. Some pumps have just a single plug which has the float and the pump all wired into one plug in. Uh, that's what this one has. But some pumps have what I call a piggyback plug so the plug that actually goes into the receptacle, this plug, is actually your float plug. So you can separate them and plug the back plug directly into the receptacle. And this will help you determine whether or not the float is bad on your pump or sometimes if you just put plug the pump in directly, then it will pump the water out for you without activating the float. Hopefully these tips helped you to get your sewage ejector pump up and running again. If it did not, it's time to call your local plumber, but hopefully it really did help you to get your system flowing. If it did, please give us a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.